just curious. I know that you, when you teach your classes, you do uh, both the TensorFlow curriculum and you also do PyTorch. I'm just curious with the, with the religious wars there. So in past trainings, I've done both. I've done ones where I've just used one or the other. In the one I'm doing up, upcoming in May, I'm going to be using both. And my thought on that, we'll, we'll see, you know, how it goes, I guess. But my thought on it is, you know, me as a data scientist, I have to use both because, you know, it's like you d solve one problem and there's a gr this great TensorFlow implementation. And it's just it just makes sense for you to grab that and maybe tweak it a little bit and use it. In another case, like there's this great PyTorch implementation and maybe it's because I'm lazy, but I never... I'm never really starting from scratch, right? I'm starting from something someone has done. So most of us are. From my perspective, you know, it's uh, to be sort of functioning in this space now, you you have to be willing to sort of jump around a, a bit, unless maybe you work for Google or something and then like you always use TensorFlow or you work for Facebook or right. <laughs> who, whoever has like a standard of, I have a lot of autonomy, so maybe that's a blessing in, in my case. <laughs> 